Hello everyone, this is Miss Lina Ode and this is English grade 11. Tomorrow, it, uh, sorry, on February 18th, we're going to be starting uh, with chapter 2 for Great Gatsby. I will assume that you have you will have finished by chapter 1 and chapter 2. So under unit power protest and change, on February 18th, we're going to be um, continuing with the novel, The Great Gatsby. So what are we going to do exactly? For this particular day, you're going to be discussing the situation depicted, depicted in the novel and you understand the main elements of chapter 2. Here are some vocabulary words for you to understand. And here is a summary for chapters 1 and 2, just in case you want to have them revised uh, and of course, this because uh, on the following day you're going to be having an exam, we're going to allocate a bit of time to understand more of uh, Great Gatsby. Uh, over here, some questions uh, for you uh, to basically ponder up, uh, upon. Think about the word choice in these chapters. What words did he use to create this scandalous mood? We mean the author. Discuss Nick's authenticity and credibility. Do we trust him as a narrator? It's a very, very important question. Here is some background, uh, historical background for, on these chapters. Here you're going to be, throughout these chapters, you're going to be journaling about your thoughts on this. You have to pay attention to the current events as well, and then you will influence what happens later in the story. And here are some other quizzes for you to take. And as for the following day, you're going to have A3 exam. Let's check the material for A3 exam. As for the material for A3 exam, you're going to have the story of an hour. And of course, you can check the analysis that you have written earlier uh, for a better understanding. And Great Gatsby chapters 1 and 2, the introduction as well, along with the themes. As for gram grammar, simple compound and complex sentences, then fragments and run-ons. As for the vocabulary, mostly reading comprehension, and since reading comprehension includes context, context clues, it goes without saying. Uh, and of course, here are some sample questions with answers, uh, different other sample questions for grammar. And here are some videos for you to watch. Uh, and of course, it, they help, but you do not depend on them solely. As for the following day, you have a project. This project, you have already assembled the pictures or you've drawn them. It's time for you to present, of course, for the class to make a bit of scene out of it. As for the following day, which is the last day since Thursday, it's going to be off for you. On the 21st, uh, you're going to be uh, creating sorry, creating an analysis for pictures. So it's mostly called reflective writing. Here you have all the PowerPoints needed. You also have some tutorials to help you uh, to analyze photos. As you can see over here, uh, you will also uh, be able to provide to, to you'll also be provide analysis for uh, pictures. Thank you so much for listening. We'll meet you next time. Have a nice long weekend.